tonight. Pablo Lopez Perk, as we talked about, he's had some success against the Astros lately. Yeah, two good starts last year in the postseason. This year, down in Houston. Got him. On a breaking ball. So three straight strikes, and Altuve is out number one. Now it's Alex Bregman. Bregman sends it high and deep to left field. Larnick back. Larnick near the wall with the play. And there are two away for Jordan Alvarez. And laces this one to center. Buxton in the shadows reaches down and makes the play to end the inning. Sean Dubin making the start out of that bullpen for the Houston Astros. It'll be his second start of the season. Christian Vasquez, another former Astro, rounds out your Twins lineup. Jose Altuve picks that one up on a couple of hops, and Willie Castro retired on a ground out. Here's Carlos Correa. And a call third strike. Correa knew it. 96 mile an hour fastball froze Carlos, and that'll be the first strikeout for Dubin. Two out, nobody on for Trevor Larnick. Larnick grounds one to the right side, hit the grass dirt cutoff, but Singleton stayed with it, made the flip to Sean Dubin for the final out. Good start for both starters. Sean Dubin, a couple of ground outs and a strikeout. Yiner Diaz draws a leadoff walk. He brings up John Singleton. That ball's into right center field. It could be down. It will get down. Yiner had to hold up Jespo briefly to make sure that wasn't caught. John Singleton continues his strong road trip as he picks up a single to right center. So Diaz at second, Singleton at first. Nobody out for Jeremy Pena. And Jeremy shoots one fair down the right field side. Yiner Diaz will head home. Astros take a 1 0 lead. Going first to third is Singleton. Jeremy Pena stays hot with an RBI single. Great job by Jeremy. Got a fastball up, maybe just a tick out of the zone up, but it was a fastball that he could handle. Did an excellent job of getting on top of it, shooting it just behind John Singleton and keeping it fair. So Lopez, back-to-back -back strikeouts, and now needs one more out to really limit the damage here in the second. Now it's up to Cesar Salazar, Astros catcher. Salazar comes through, Cesar Salazar. After two strikeouts, could have been a demoralizing inning. Instead, he makes it two to nothing with a two out RBI base hit. Not wasting any time either. He got a fastball to the inside, turned on it. And again, it feels like every hit this guy gets is with somebody on base, and somehow they come around to score. So credit Cesar Salazar. Not messing around, picking on one pitch, getting it, and not missing it. And that's the key is to, if you are looking for it, don't miss it. And Cesar has not. Now here's Jose Altuve. Tapper towards the middle. Correa can't get there. Astros lead three to nothing. Salazar goes to third. Jose Altuve had enough top spin on that grounder to get it past his buddy Carlos Correa. It's three nothing Houston. Yeah, it took advantage of Carlos playing to that pull side in that five and a half hole, protecting it. Even if he does get to that, he doesn't have a chance at Jose Altuve. The only thing he could hope is that he kept Cesar at second base. But once it got past Carlos, Salazar took off to third base and got in easily. Astros up three to nothing and now it's Bregman. Got him. So Lopez fans three in the second but he gives up three runs on four hits. Jose Miranda coming off a five for five day yesterday leads off the home second and he'll add to it another hit. That's seven straight at bats with a hit. Finished off Wednesday night with a single and this is what it's been line drives. Carlos Santana now the hitter. Punches this one to left and that's down for a base hit near the line. Miranda's going to round second base. He'll make third, trying for second. Santana, and he is safe. One out. That brings Buxton into the batter's box. And Byron got hit, 95 running inside. And that will load him up. And the rookie, Brooks Lee, is coming up. Line drive into right field. That's a base hit. Miranda will score. Santana will stop. It's an RBI single for Brooks Lee. He's four for seven to begin his big league career. He's knocked in three, and this is a two-run game. And mom and dad are here and enjoying the show from their son. He's so quiet at the plate. Short swing, seeing that ball make contact with his bat. And some excitement from Lee. They're two down, and now it's up to Willie Castro. And just walked in a run. Santana scores 3-2. It's almost like his stuff moves so much that, that he has trouble finding the strike zone. The bases remain loaded. It's a one-run ball game, and Carlos Correa is the batter. 3-1 pitch is lofted into shallow right, coming on Loperfito, going out Altuve. He makes a great catch, a sliding catch by Altuve, taking one away from his buddy Carlos Correa. Altuve saving two, maybe three runs. And the Astros still lead three to two. What a play by Jose Altuve to end the inning.
bent leg slide and shallow right when that ball looked like it was going to fall in no man's land. One out here in the Twins third, Jose Miranda. Seven straight hits. Going back to his last at bat. A bullet to left, down the line, deep in the corner, and that is a fair ball. Tie game. Eight straight hits. And now ties it up with his ninth home run. I'm speechless. Uh, what are we watching right now? How do you keep this fair? I, I, that's what I, it's a changeup in off the plate. And he, and he gets his hands through quick enough that he can keep it fair. But he is on a different level right now. It's going to be Pena leading off single RBI his first time up. Correa, and he threw out his buddy. He'll pick, spin, Santana, yes! How good was that? Everything had to be perfect, and it was. Correa to his left. Little 360 twirl. Unloaded quickly. And then Santana with a scoop. What's more impressive? That right there, getting that ball, or that throw? Are you kidding me? And there's two outs. Loprofito, the batter. Quiet looks like it'll be Martinez. Weekly hit to the right side. It's Castro. And a three up, three down inning. For Pablo Lopez and Margot draws a leadoff walk. So Jose Miranda is coming up and a chance to make some Twins history right now. Pulled fair down the left field line. He's done it again. Margot around third. He's got the green light. Alvarez fires towards the plate and he's safe as the ball kicks away. Miranda ends up at third and the Twins take a 4 3 lead. Nine straight at bats. Nine straight hits for Jose Miranda. And the Twins have a one run lead here at Target Field. It's been 26 years since that's happened, and he broke his bat. No worries. The throw was right on the money, and Margot slid in and knocked the ball out of his glove. Twins lead. Four to three. Two on, nobody out. It's Jeremy Pena. Jeremy Pena with a base hit into right field. Being waved around is Diaz. He's going to score to tie the game at four. Jeremy Pena with his second RBI of the game. We are knotted up at four. Good job by JP. Not wasting any time. He got himself a center cut fastball and just punched it the other way, kind of recognizing that that defense was playing him around to pull. Had the intent of hitting behind the runners and found some empty space. Three straight hits to start this inning, and that's going to be enough for Pablo. Hey, here's going to be Jorge Alcala on for the Minnesota Twins. Here's Joey Loperpito. That one bounces away, and both runners are going to advance. Singleton to third, Payne to second. Good base running. Being heads up as that ball eluded Christian Vasquez. And Joey sends one down the line in right. If it stays there, it's trouble. It is there. It's going to score two runs. Loperfito is going to head to third. The ball is out of play. It'll be an automatic double, but the Astros take the lead six to four on the two RBI double by Loperfito. Big hit for the young man. Joey turns on this first pitch of the first fastball of the inning at 98. And he's able to just catch it on that chalk line as it jumped up into the stands. Because of the wild pitch, two runs will score, and the Astros take a 6 4 lead. Third hit, he's three for four. That brings up Myers. And there goes Pena. The ball hit well to center field. Back goes Buxton. He will watch it go off the wall. Pena can walk home. Jake Myers into second base. RBI double, 7 4 Astros. Ends at 0 for 16 for Myers. Hit that high off that 23 foot high wall in deep right center field. And with Pena going on the pitch, was able to score easily from first base. One away, and here comes Jose Miranda looking to make even more history tonight. To the right side, Altuve won't get it. Jose Miranda alone at the top in Minnesota Twins history. 10 straight hits, covering 10 consecutive at bats. And a standing ovation. Incredible. Kepler's going to bat as the tying run with one out here in the seventh. Up the middle into center field, a base hit. Miranda will score. Santana going to third. He will do so standing. Kepler RBI single. And the lead for Houston trimmed down to two. And just like Jose Miranda, not trying to do too much. Take what's given you. Try to make good contact. And it's a good pitch, a breaking ball down, just a short swing. And Byron's out on strikes, and it will be up to Brooks Lee. Call third strike, inning over. Abreu does allow a run, but the Astros maintain their lead at 7-5, heading to the eighth. Jose Altuve leads it off. And he's Ooh. hit by a pitch. It's on that left hand again on the back of it. He immediately called for trainer and 
the manager Joe spotted to come out 94 mile an hour sinker well up and in off the plate. So Altuve will leave the game at the Dubon at second Bregman at first sends one to left long run for <laughs> Margot that's going to drop in great read by Dubon he gives his buddy an RBI there with a good read from second he knew that was falling in the whole time Jordan sends one to left for an RBI base hit it's eight to five. Was a heck of a read by Mauricio Dubon to pick up an RBI for Skipper and get him on the board with a base hit. Great job of getting out there and reading that. <laughs> that was not your classic Jordan hit. The bases are still loaded with one away for Jeremy Pena. And he sends one to left. Margot coming in. He'll drop the ball. Everybody's going to advance. Jordan's going to score. That was probably going to be a sacrifice fly anyhow, but there's no out made. As Margot had that ball go off the heel of his glove, and the Astros lead nine to five. Wow, he just clanked that. He was charging in on that dying line drive. I wonder if it might have gotten caught in the lights a little bit because he kind of guessed where it was. The nine-five game, and the batter is Myers. That ball hit pretty well to center field. Buxton's going to make a play on it, but that'll be a sack fly. Coming in to score will be Diaz. Singleton goes to third. Astros now lead ten to five on the sacrifice fly line drive off the bat of Jake Myers. Job by Jake. He's been having some really good at bats. Now it's Willie Castro to the plate. Skies one to right field. Loper Fido near the corner, near the wall. He will reach up and make a catch against the wall. They're going to say no catch. And now the ball's in play. The first base umpire says no catch, so Singleton has to tag Vasquez. Wow, did that hit the How wall? did he stay with it? Did the ball hit the wall That's after the his question. glove? I don't think it did. How did it, how did it not hit the wall? That's in his glove. And then it comes out, and it doesn't deviate, so it just kind of gives you the impression that it's sliding along the wall. The call is overturned. It is a catch. It'll be hard to find a better play in right field this season. So Salazar at third, Dubon at first. Here's Bregman. Bregman drives one deep to left field. If it's fair, it's a three-pointer. It's gone. Second deck home run for Alex Bregman. And the Astros have blown this game wide open at 13 to 5. Well, they turned that hit by pitch into more than one run. There's a three-run Breggy bomb. And that will send a lot of these Twins fans up out of their seats and out of the ballpark. Two outs here in the ninth. Two on now for Byron. Hammer to left on a line, and that will skip and land by McCormick. And Martin will score. Buxton will stop at first base, an RBI single, and it's 13-6. He's been looking real good at the plate last month plus. And now Brooks Lee gets another shot. Brooks Lee has a three hit game. And Kepler runs through the stop sign and scores standing. So Lee, his second single, his third hit, his second RBI. Pretty swing, short and compact. Runners on at first and second for Vasquez. Once again, Contreras deals 2-2. Pulled to left, down the line, long run McCormick, and he won't get it. That's a fair ball. One run scores, and the ball skips out of play. So Buxton's run will count, and Lee will be forced to go back to third. So Christian Vasquez, heck of a job here. Ninth inning, not giving up, a nine pitch at bat. Doubles in a run. Ball stays in play. Lee scores. Yeah. The Twins have loaded the bases. Here in the ninth, and Carlos Correa will come to the plate. Twins now need one more base runner to get the tying run up. And the 1-1 is swinging a fly ball into left field. Back it goes. McCormick at the wall. It's gone. Grand slam. Carlos Correa. This is a one-run game. Correa clears the bases, and it's 13-12. The Twins trail by only one. What's happening right now? 97 in off the plate. Off his glove and into the flowers. Manuel Margot now the final hope for the Twins. And he goes down to end the inning when Salazar makes the throw to first. Game will be over. And the rally ends one run short.